Greetings, I'm Professor K, and in this short video presentation, we're going to see how we go about capturing a three-way TCP handshake using Wireshark. A three-way handshake, or a TCP three-way handshake, is a process which is used in a TCP IP network to make a connection between the server and the client. It is a three-step process that requires both the client and the server to exchange synchronization and acknowledgement packets before the real data communication process begins. So I'm currently logged on to my virtual install of Kali. And what we're going to do now is that we're going to visit a website. And then we're going to capture that three-way handshake that I am going to establish with that website. So the first thing we want to do is begin to capture. For this, I'll be using my Ethernet Zero wired network. And we see I currently do not have any traffic being generated. But that's going to change in just a moment. So the next thing I want to do is go up here to my quick launch and I'm going to open up a web browser. And for this exercise, we're just going to go ahead and visit my website, cyberoffense.com and launch that. Now, once the connection has been made and I get a web page, that means everything's been taken care of. They have completed the three way handshake, they've done the get HTTP request which is me asking the source to provide me with a web page. It's all been done. So we can go ahead and go back on over to our Wireshark. And you'll see that I've captured all that information. We can go ahead and stop this capture. And now we can go back to the beginning of it by going up to this icon in my toolbar and just clicking on it. It takes me back up to the very top. And the next thing we see here is the DNS query. So I typed in www.cyberoffense.com into my browser's address bar, but that has to be changed into an IP address for machine language. Humans like the name www.cyberoffense.com, but machines use numbers. So that requires DNS. And so you can see here at line five, the query response returned for Cyber Offense, the IP address, of 34.73.24.83 and that's the IP address that it needed to be able to find that website on the internet. So once the DNS query has completed and it returns the IP address for this particular website that I requested, it's going to come back and begin the three-way handshake with my machine and the web server. So I'm actually talking to the web server at this time. And we can see the results of the SYN request being sent over to the web server from my machine. And then I get back the SYN acknowledgement from the server. And then we have another SYN acknowledgement from the server. And finally, an acknowledgement which establishes the connection that we need between my client and the web server. Now, this next line here is where we actually get what we requested, which was a web page. So if I click on this, you'll see that I can expand this hypertext transfer protocol information, and it gives me all the information about what happened with this request. So we went to cyberoffense.com, and we requested a web page. And you'll see the results of it down here, along with the DNS query information. So as a network administrator, a pen tester, or even a digital forensic investigator, you may need to find out who is accessing what websites on the internet and what the results are and what they're pulling down from those websites. And this begins with the TCP three-way handshake. Now, if we were looking at this as being a possible malware attack or that my machine was not part of a botnet, we would see a lot of this particular type of three-way handshaking going on, maybe 60 or more instances of this three-way handshake. And that's an indicator that there's something going on with your machine and it needs to be investigated. And so in this short video presentation, we got to see how easy it was to capture a three-way TCP handshake using Wireshark. So if you have any questions, if you have any concerns, please don't hesitate to reach out, contact your instructor, and I'll see you in my next video.